Good morning! Welcome back to another PK episode. Today is our Roatan Honduras day. And I have to say I'm looking forward to this one. We found this little beach that has snorkeling right from the beach by complete and total accident about 10 years ago. We were on a carnival cruise ship and we had done a lot of snorkeling earlier in that week and a lot of you know, up and moving and running around kind of excursions. And so we were looking for a beach and we found one that said Tabiani Beach and it included lunch and we're like okay that'll be nice we didn't really read much further than that well once we got there we realized that they also had a very extensive reef system right off of the beach and so we still brought our snorkeling gear because it's just us it turned out to be the best snorkeling we have ever been to Looking forward to it. So we walked into Windjammer this morning and they have a little Halloween display. <laughs> Let's get down here on some breakfast. So you always got to get lots of energy, especially when you're snorkeling. I'm doing a little bit of pancakes, some bacon, hash brown, and I have some raisin bran. Bacon, they don't have bacon. hash brown, biscuit, something else, I don't remember. I just came to the realization of something. We're sitting here in the wind jammer. And we're looking to the right, and we're moving, right? So we're looking to the left, and we notice the ship beside us is not moving, but we're not moving any further distance from the ship. Yeah. It was our ship. We're not used to this big ship, and we're in the wind jammer, and in the wind jammer, there's actually the open air that leads down to the boardwalk. So the other ship was just the other side of our own ship, and that's why it wasn't moving. My God, we're so stupid. Cruise ship fail. When your cruise ship so long, they have to get a boat to go get your anchor line. Here at the port, there's a little executive airstrip right next to the cruise ship. Here goes the airplane. First, it's taking off the opposite, the opposite direction of us. Oh, there he goes. He's off. He's up in the end. You can see how clear the water is if it wasn't overcast. That's how pretty the water here is. See the spots? Yeah. You can easily see the rocks and coral through the water, even with it being overcast. All right, we're about to head down to the muster area for our excursion and it's a little over a 30 minute drive once we actually get on the bus to get over to Tabiana and the excursion we got included the lunch it wasn't too much more about 10 to 15 dollars more a person to get the one that already included the lunch versus just getting the beach break and then paying a la carte for the lunch itself and I'm gonna call this right now and that is you're gonna have to look through our snorkel section because you're not gonna believe what we found make sure you watch it this is actually a fairly small port but as you can see they have lots of construction going on and by the time it's done it's gonna double in size it was a very short walk to the bus area all right we are on our bus, getting ready to head out to Tabiana Beach. Little rain coming off the ship this morning. Sun's trying to peek through, but we'll see. As long as it's a Florida rain, 
you know, the 15, 20 minute rain and then it's nice the rest of the day. So I'll face it. The drive to Tabiani Beach is roughly 30 minutes and you do pass a couple of other locations that are excursions along the way. Welcome to Tabiana. Like I said, this is the best snorkeling spot that we have found from the beach. They do have lockers, little straw market here. Later in the day, they'll have what's considered an American barbecue which is basically barbecue chicken, hamburgers, hot dogs, you know, a type of bean salad. You can see here coleslaw, watermelon, pineapple. They've got iced tea and lemonade. The moment we get in, there's a starfish. Take a look. Here we go. Right off the bat, we see a nice school of damsels. At least I think they're damsels. Bunch of sergeant majors. That's a nice angelfish. Good catch, CJ. Mel caught a similar angel. And that's me swimming with a big parrotfish. And I thought the last school was big. This one's double, if not triple, the size. Ho oh, hum, just swimming in a school of sergeant majors. Closing things out with another school of sergeant majors and a needlefish or a trumpet fish there. Round one was pretty successful. You probably saw all that. Christine is going to go down and get her pictures with a monkey. Oh, it's so adorable. Yeah, it's perfect. It's very good. Mr. Randy, look at the camera. Mr. Randy. Hi, Randy. My Randy is down on like a David. Sit down, Randy. Yeah. yeah. There we go, Mr. Randy. Look Come at the on, camera. Mr. Randy. Yes, oh, perfect. It's very good, Mr. Randy. Yes. Not on the charge. Yes, perfect. It's very good. He's like, I'm just uh, styling here. So Christine got her sloth on. Oh, I'm sorry. Christine got her monkey on. And uh, we're going to be going up here to grab a bite of to eat before we go back out on the second round of our snorkeling. We might go a little bit further over towards the rocks next round. As you can see, they got plenty of seating. A little DJ, they do have a bar, and there are lemonade and iced tea up here as well. Yummy, yummy. Coleslaw, pineapples, and hamburgers. Belly's got the barbecue chicken. I got the grilled chicken, the barbecue chicken, and a hot dog. And the fruit is always good here. 
Christine, what you got over there? I got a burger with some ra um, wax cheese. Yeah. That I don't know how to open. And a full of watermelon. Very good. And CJ's up there somewhere. All right, so lunch is done. I have to admit, the burgers are not uh, not Bubba burgers by any means, but they're good. And I'll tell you what was really delicious here. I tasted some of Mel's, and then I decided not to finish my burgers and went back to get some. But the grilled chicken here, holy crap. Whatever they did, whatever kind of seasoning they put on it, it was super, super tasty. All right, so we're going to hydrate a little bit more and then head back out for round two of snorkeling. And there's always exotic drinks like this floating kayak with uh, pineapple drinks made fresh. That is one big starfish and he was only out of the water for like five seconds. Peekaboo, I see you. A nice dog face puffer. More angelfish, they're everywhere. That is a big fish. It had to have at least been three feet. This doesn't do it justice. Oh, and we thought the last school of fish were big. Just wait, wait for it. Here it comes, here it comes. Holy crap. That has to be a thousand between the damsels and the sergeant majors. They were everywhere. This is the biggest school that we have ever had the pleasure of snorkeling with. Some more of those angels, they are so beautiful. This is a sissy school compared to that other one. Closing things out for our second snorkel round with another dog face puffer. All right, we are calling it a day here at uh, Tabiana. Good snorkeling as normal. Um, water was a little cloudy in some areas and then heavy, heavy school of moon jellies in other areas, but then there were areas that were clear. So typical things. Uh, didn't see anything super exotic like earlier trips, sea turtles, octopus, manta rays, but a lot of damsels, uh, or damsels. Uh, huge schools of them and some very very big angel fish so just a lot of good parrot fish as well huge uh, little dog puffer you probably saw so did not disappoint yet again time to slowly make our way back to the port do a little shopping get some coffee and then head back on board so uh let's get going as we're making our way back you can see they have a little shop here with t-shirts and sun wraps things along that lines they do have fresh water showers that you can rinse off back at the port and now comes the fun part trying to find my wife as we are playing the game try to find my wife you can see there are a lot of little shops here that are similar to what you will find in many other ports Uh, looks like they have the little Manny Petty Spa thing that you put your feet in and the fish eat all the dead skin off of it. As you can see, gift shops here very similar to what they were in Cozumel, just with Roatan on the hat. Ooh, I found her! You can get your passport stamped right there. Now there was a slight cost, about $5 per stamp but everything is donated to relief work and is used to help rebuild homes that are damaged in natural disasters. So guess who left their camera running when they went through security? Yep, that guy. Hey, 
And this is what the inside of an x-ray machine looks like. Hats off. Check Trevor, she's got contraband. She's got contraband, don't let her fool you. Be chair. All right, time for our lucky dragon. Lucky dragon, lucky dragon. All right, we cleaned up for our Caribbean night. I have my toucan shirt on. Toucan. That and, I for him. Yes, that Mel bought. But we are going to Giovanni's tonight. Now on the Wonder, it is a slightly different Giovanni's. It's uh, not the Giovanni's table. It's kitchen. Yeah, so the- It's like a t uh, family style with a, also you get pizza. Yeah, so the ones on the other ships are more like, uh, they call it yeah, Giovanni's Table. Again, great, great Italian. This one's Giovanni's Kitchen. So we'll take a look. As Mel said, we know pizza is a new item on the menu and we'll see if there's anything else new on the menu. We'll get back with you. Let's go ahead and head on in to Giovanni's Kitchen. Pardon me, Please. Nice to have you here. My name is Michal. I'll be taking care of you. Thank you. Have you been with us before? Not at the kitchen. We've been at Giovanni's table. Giovanni's table. On the other ones, but not the kitchen. So, the first so, time. It's going to be a different menu. We have a nice Italian cuisine with an American twist. Nice appetizer. They can be sharing style, family style. I recommend for you the stromboli, the pizza bite. Also, I would suggest the caprese salad. Very nice and refreshing. Fried calamari, I would say, are the best calamari you can have on board. Giant meatball. You can make a mix of different appetizers for sharing. So although there are some familiar items on the menu that you would find at Giovanni's table. There are definitely a few items that have been removed and some different items that have been put on the menu. So let's take a quick look at the menu. You can always slow down or pause if you want to see it better. So here are some complimentary table side. What are those? Like garlic knots with parm on it? Yeah, garlic garlic knots with parm on it. A sprinkling of different olives. It looks like a sauce that you and I are going to And some marinara. So we have the giant meatball appetizer. Definitely can be a shareable item. Ooh. There you go. So you got a garlic bread with the meatball. And then we have the fried calamari. And it, it was something else. It was some sort of fried calamari and some sort of cheese, I think. Right there, it looks like the cheese. Yeah. I might take a bite of that. Yeah, the calamari is going to be this right here. And then they got these squares that I think was some sort of a fried cheese or something like that. This is the stromboli. Yeah. This is the uh, truffled caprese salad. It consists of truffle oil over the buffalo mozzarella and uh, various colored heirloom tomatoes. Garnished with a little arugula, which is a waste. They should have just put basil on it. All right, Mel, reaction to our appetizer uh, sampling. I like the uh, caprese salad and I like the stromboli. Those are the two I like. Okay, yep, I get it, yes. Absolutely, I agree 100%. That's Italian for I liked it all. CJ? Um, I tried them all except for calamari, which because I know I don't care before, had it many times. Um, and I like the meatball and the caprese salad the best. And uh, as you saw with the Italian translation for Christine, we actually agree on our favorite uh, appetizers. I too think the stromboli and the calamari were the best. And for me, calamari, top of the line. So as we're sitting here, there is a tip from Mel. So on this particular ship, there's a wine bar connected to Giovanni's. And if you cannot get a reservation at Giovanni's, the restaurant, you can go over to the wine bar and actually still order food over there. 
I have chicken alfredo. Um, the grilled Thank chicken, you. fresh parmesan. Oh, parmesan chunk, and alfredo sauce with noodles. I have what Ryan has. Chicken, a classic in any uh, American Italian restaurant, chicken parmesan. Mel's going a little light, so she's having what they call nut and pasta ravioli. Zero calories. I have the carbonara. Thank you. Right? you got it looks like a piece of bacon. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Just all right, so we decided to forego dessert, uh, mainly because we have a show coming up that we're going to make it to. And what we wanted to try was the banana and Nutella tiramisu, but that was going to take too long to prepare. So we are going to have some dessert later tonight at another venue. And right now we are heading to Tapped or Taps which is one of the main shows. It's supposed to be kind of like a stomp. Uh, I guess kind of like a stomp show with music, drumming, percussion, and you know, acrobatics, comedy, stuff like that. So we're going to take a look at that. So we just finished Tap Factory. I'm gonna give you a disclaimer. We know everyone has diff different tastes. This one, let's see, what's the best way to put it? Had a it, lot of body. It um, had a lot of tap dancing. It had a lot of tap dancing, and it was in no way what we interpreted the advertisement to be. Mel decided to close out the night with a ride on the carousel. Well, thanks everyone for watching this week's episode. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and notify button. It doesn't cost you anything, and it really does help the channel out. Next week's episode will be in Costa Maya and exploring the private resort Maya Chen. We'll see you next time on the Scenic Route.